suppress the ammonia. They also use my instant ammonia destroyer. So it, it really helps. We had a uh, guy back east who was shipping with our instant ammonia destroyer and with the you know, bacteria in there to Italy. And normally it'd take a three day trip. And he used to lose on the other side about 2%. That's a good valid question. Because, you know, people think it'll just suck it all up. But how many fish do they put in a bag? You know, how big is the bag? Usually you put this much water in and you have this much air. Well, not air, but, you know, gas. Yeah. It's not It's not equal. So because of that, then it's splashing back and forth. Any other question? Don't worry, this is the time to ask them. So basically, those those setup can be used for both fresh and salt water. Okay, on the fresh water, we have the fresh water bacteria. Mm -hmm. If you want to do, how many here do fresh water plants? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> and you know how hard it is for fresh water plants, right? Very simple with my system. You do not use normally the tri base carbon, but what you do use is our earth pellets in a canister filter. It's very simple. Get an aquarium, you put our gravel in. Our gravel is a little black gravel that the roots actually of the plants will grow through. You have to rinse the gravel off because we do not rinse it off. It will hold so much water, you'll be paying like three to four times the weight for the volume. So you rinse it off. Put it in your aquarium, fill it up, hit it with chlorine sorb, depress the pH down to 6.4 to 6.5. This is how simple it is for a freshwater aquarium. At that point, you remember you have the earth pellets in here. You you go ahead, you turn on the, uh, the filter, you have it shooting across the surface, above the surface to begin with, okay? Above the surface. All right, you haven't put the bacteria in. Then you plant your plants, you put a few fish in, you add the bacteria, 24 hours later, it's cycling, okay? You let it run for a week with the water above it, and then you depress it, right? Here's the water level, then you depress it. Instead of above it here, you depress it just slightly <coughs> below it, like this. No splash, but a ripple. And what that does now, instead of buying an expensive CO2 chamber, the CO2 coming from the bacteria, remember it's highly aerobic, right? It's producing CO2 like gangbusters. Mm -hmm. You don't have to buy the CO2 chamber and it gives enough like that. And if you want to really add to it, we have these trace elements for plants. You just take the doggone thing, put one cap full, it's only that big, for 10 gallons, and you'll see a response within like 24 to 48 hours. That's it. That quick. That's how simple it is. I set up a, um, a couple plant systems for wholesalers. One of them is a 2,000 gallon plant system. And they were, they were their plants were what we call melting. You know, they put them in there, and two days later they'd be gone. And now their plants are growing. Because of the CO2 that's in fact, the Bacopa, here's the water level of Bacopa, it's that high above the water level. The earth grows so fast, we're always trimming them. Pardon? The earth's growing so fast, we're always trimming them. I know, now what you can do is you can trim it, if you trim it fast, then you can go to the local store and you can sell it to them because they'll buy it because it's healthy rather than, you know, shipping them in and stuff like this. And then you can, I have, I have in my own aquarium, I have two little aquariums on my, uh, on my desk. They're, they're bowls about this big. That's it. There's a paper clip in one of them, paper clip in the other one. There's a bed in one. There's a uh, dwarf grommet in the other. No aeration, bacteria is in there. I have two Madagascar lace plants. I have no overhead lighting except what's in the office. And they're there for three years. And I have beautiful leaves with square holes in them. You know how they say Madagascar is so hard to do? It's not, it's just an apology. In fact, I mean, it's flowered a couple of times. So. But it flowered, I didn't realize it. And then the stalk went on the outside. And then my, my car dog in the head, you know, when it did drop on me, I was wondering what they were sniffing out. So I never stayed to see. Any other questions? You understand how simple it is? Your corals will grow if you use our system to close them. And your clams, you know, your tridactyl clams, if you use my system with the pH rock and everything, instead of growing like a quarter inch a year, you've seen that before, they can grow 
as high as two and a half to three inches a year because it's available. And I never did answer my question that I presented to you. How high is the highest calcium that you have? Yeah, we go 400, 500. Okay. With my system, had it up as high as 825 without dropout because it's a different science. 800. The corals, the clams, everything is growing like 900. that. 900. Because they have it available to them. And here's no the trouble. thing you got to realize. When they give you a value of what the ocean water is, and then I'm leaving it, is that what is in the ocean or is that what's left in the ocean after it is produced? Question anybody can answer? What's the last assumption? What? It's after consumption. It's after. So when they have 400 milligrams per liter of calcium, that's what you had a higher amount of calcium here, all the organisms took it, and that's what it is. And that's only in certain areas. Again, it'll be higher in the Gulf, it'll be lower in the uh, Arctic. Alrighty, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. And I know you couldn't get out of your seat because I super <laughs> <laughs>